Hello, Hal here. Today we're going to work on the simple chromatic exercise and we'll show you and explain exactly what that is and how that works. So this is to work your left hand and your right hand and this is your first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our fingers on the string, just the E string. We're not going to use any other strings. The E string right here, first fret, first finger, and I'm going to use my thumb and touch the guitar just like this. So let's do that. I'm going to pluck the string just like this. Okay, and we're going to use our first finger now. First finger, watch your placement right here. Okay, now use the next finger on the second fret. Third finger on the third fret. Fourth finger on the fourth fret. And then let's go back the other way. Third finger second finger on the second fret, first finger on the first fret. And then let's move up to the second fret and do the same thing. Okay, you want to make sure that it's not buzzing, and you're not getting that kind of a, a tone, and don't use really this part of your finger, um, because a lot of times you'll get that kind of a sound. Okay, what you want to do is use the tip of your finger like that. See this? Okay, let's go to the third fret. Just take your time. Now I'm going to go a little bit faster, but if you're very new at this, you'll want to do it very slow. Now I'm on the 9th fret, 11th fret, 12th fret, and now let's go back the other way and go back down to the 8th fret. and you're done, okay? When you start to get bored with this, you know you're getting better, and when it'll just get faster automatically. You won't even have to try to go faster, it'll just do it. So, let's see, another thing you can do is you can rest your thumb, let's say on the A string or on the D string, and then use one finger, or you can use two fingers, Okay, and you can also use a pick. There's a pick for you right there. Okay, so you can use the pick like this. Notice that I'm using down strokes, just down strokes. I'm, I'm resting my, uh, this part of my hand right here on the strings. Now I'm going to go the other way. Let's use a down and up stroke just to demonstrate that. One of the things that I have done before in the with the chromatic exercise is I would rotate through different kinds of techniques with my right hand. And then I would change to another technique, like this uh, two-fingered technique. And then maybe change to a pick. Or just use all down strokes. Or use all up strokes. 
Okay? So you can do a lot of different things to change it up and to not get bored with this exercise. But start with this exercise, start very slowly and work through it, teach your fingers what to do, and as you get faster and better, then you can go to the regular chromatic exercise, which we have in another video. And okay, I think that's all I have for you today. Well, come back again for more tutorials and songs and different videos so we can teach you more things about the guitar. We'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.